Hi, this experiment aims to detect fraud cases in credit card transactions, and this is the training script we're going to be using. Here, we've been able to split the data into training and test scripts. These are hyperparameter tuning notebook, and this is the data set. We've been able to import it externally, and our target column here is the class column which we are trying to predict. Here, we've been able to import the train scripts. Let's take a look at our hyper drive uh, configuration and then our policy, which is bandit policy. Let's take a look at the hyperparameters we've been able to tune in this experiment. Then let's have a look at the run details. You can see the status shows completed. And there are a bunch of interesting information about this. Yeah, the best metric is 0 0.9988 and the status is completed let's click on it and see what more we can find about it you can see the run id and we can see the accuracy you can see the maximum interaction as 150 and the regularization strength of one now let us go down and see the best run ID, the accuracy, and the learning rate. Yes, here we are. You can see the best run ID, you can see the accuracy, and we can see the learning rate. We're going to compare these values with what we, we are going to get from the AutoML. Here we are in the AutoML and Let's quickly take a look at our compute cluster, our data set, which is the same data set as we used in Hyperdrive. And this is our AutoML settings. And this is our AutoML configuration. Target column remains the class column. Here we'll be able to submit the run. Let's take a look at the run details. The status here shows completed and we can have a look at the algorithm. And as you can see here, voting ensemble gives us the highest accuracy. So let's go down and see some bunch of interesting information about this model. As you can see the run ID is displayed here, the type, the status, and so many other interesting information about this also a more model now we're going to deploy this model because it is the best between the hyperdrive and auto and auto model comes at the back so we want to save this model we've been able to do that and we want to register the best for deployment which we've done here already so we want to download the conda environment and then download the scoring file produced by the auto ML. then set aci web service now let us wait for deployment to finish and then display the scoring uri and the swagger uri as you can see here the service state is healthy we can see the scoring uri and we can see the swagger uri now we need to test this model so we've taken a sample data set and now we want to test and see what we're going to get as our output let's take a look at this and you can see our output here let's view this in azure ml studio Here in Azure ML Studio, you can see the status as completed. Let's go to experiment and then click on this detection, which is the name. And then we are going to click on this auto mode, round two. And then we are going to see some bunch of interesting information about this experiment. Let's click on the models and see different algorithm names. As you can see voting ensemble is the best. The deployment status shows succeeded. That means we've been able to deploy this model. And let's go to the endpoint section and click on this deployed model. Now we can see that the deployment state is healthy and we can see the rest endpoints and the swagger URI. Thank you.